Okay, so the next piece of equipment that I'm going to talk you through is the inline suction. As I've said, this is something that we use in the ICU, um, and it's something that means that we don't need to break the circuit to pass uh, a suction catheter into the patient's airway. In the package, you'll find this. We don't particularly like this because it's, not, it's quite ill-fitting, it's slippy, and it comes off a lot, so we won't use it. And what we find is the optimal setup for this is that we connect this um, once the patient is intubated um, to the other side of the viral filter like this, and then the tube will be connected like this. I'll talk you through some of the points um, of this piece of kit. So what it's used for is to pass this suction catheter down into the patient's airway. It's pulled back and forward like so, and you can see it's in this protective bag. This is turned to lock, excuse me, to lock and unlock, it must be pulled all the way back, to lock, to lock and unlock. This is not an air seal, the air seal is back here. You can see this one is open, so it's locked shut like that, or excuse me, the safety, that's it on safety. When I pull this off and press that down, then air can escape. We've got a cap on there, but that's not to be relied upon. So it's made safe like that, and it can't be pressed down, and so this is closed. Okay, regardless of whether or not that is open or shut. Okay, so we'll hook that up there. And so once our patient's been safely intubated, we'll hook this in line past the filter. Obviously we can't pass this suction catheter through the filter, and then we'll connect our endotracheal tube to that and make it secure.